Thanks for listening to the Mornings with Carmen LaBerge podcast, made available thanks to support from listeners just like you. Your daily encouragement that God has the world in the hollow of his hand. This is Mornings with Carmen LaBerge on Faith Radio. If we're gonna fly, we fly like eagles, arms out wide. If we're gonna fear, we fear no evil. We will rise by your power. We will go by your spirit. We are bold. If we're gonna stand, we stand as giants. If we're gonna walk, we walk as lions. So many um, concerns on so many hearts. And so on this day of prayer here at Faith Radio, I am inviting you in. I'm inviting you to pray with and for um, others who are lifting up their prayer concerns. I'm inviting you to lift up your concerns. You can text or call us today at 877-933-2484. We have members of the Faith Radio family in the call center right now. Um, They're ready to pray with you. and so I just encourage you to do that. If you, you there's more that you want to say than can just be said on the text line um, or, you know, you just, you haven't heard somebody pray with you in community, in unity, the bond of peace. Um, we're offering that today. We know that um, we need it. We love praying with and for each other here at Faith Radio, and we want to just include you in what we already experience as an ongoing part of the reality of uh, of Faith Radio. Is that's that we lift up prayer concerns that people send us all the time, and we thought, hey, we ought to invite everybody else into that experience. And so that's what we're doing on this day of prayer here at Faith Radio. We're inviting you into what we already do all the time, which is pray by name for the concerns that people share with us, and so. Thank you for those of you who are sharing your concerns on the text line. We are going to turn our attention um, to that right now. And if you have not already shared your concern, please do so. You can do it on the text line. You can do it online at MyFaithRadio.com, or you can give us a call, 877-933-2484. And so, my friends, like if you're driving, don't close your eyes. This can be open-eyed prayer. Um, As I read these prayer requests, we are lifting them up before the Lord. Holy, holy, holy God. Um, We come before you together in the name of Jesus. You say that whatever we ask in Jesus' name, like you're tending to. And so we're doing that right now, Father. We're making the desires of our hearts known to you and known to one another. Um, Counting, counting on our brothers and sisters in Christ to hold up our arms and um, and to strengthen us in our times of desperation and need. And so praying here with um, with some grandparents for their granddaughter's boyfriend for healing, emotional healing from his past and growth in his relationship with the Lord and certainly for his relationship with their granddaughter. Holy God. This friend comes as a, um, a member of a prayer group, says three of us in my prayer group have healthy, stable adult children, but each of us also has one with mental illness who is struggling, um, homeless, and in need of good support and treatment plans. Holy God, holy God, prayers for these. Prayers for healing and salvation and stability and guidance for these moms. Prayers for parents. Prayers for my parents. This friend says, pray for me that God would help me to figure out how to handle my relationship better with my parents. Nicole, we're with you in that prayer. I am with you in that prayer. Prayers for my friend's sister who needs a liver transplant for the living donor evaluation process and 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 praying, Father, if that donor might be me. Yeah, we're praying for you, my friend, if that donor is you. Absolutely. Um praying for this one who asks that God would remove the spirit of envy and want, that my soul would be filled with contentment for the resources and the gifts that God has provided, that, that, that God would actually crush the spirit of envy and want. This friend says, this is the one sin in my life that I can't seem to overcome. It feels so superficial when others have such significant needs being raised in prayer. And so I'm praying along with you, 
for everyone else, but this is the prayer on my heart. Oh, f- oh, Father, in the name of Jesus, you you have overcome. You are the overcomer. Father, for this one who is struggling in this particular way, Father, grant relief and grace. Let this be a source of, of proclamation and joy that this, that this brother or sister in Christ would henceforth have a testimony of being relieved and renewed and set free. Father, we all have besetting sins, and we ask that you would address them today. And yes, Father, we are praying for salvation in Jesus' name for our loved ones and our friends, for those who we consider lost but who are not lost to you. You know where each one is, and you know how to reach each one. And so we would ask that by the power of your Holy Spirit, you would do that right now. Prayers for wisdom for each of us as we come into contact with um, with those who are in need. This one uh, is a prayer specifically for um, those who come into contact with Jacob, who we prayed for earlier, this young father who has had a stroke and is in a coma. Prayers for continued stamina and strength for family and friends ministering each and every day. Um, father, not only for this family and this one, but for others, so many others like them. We desire, Tony and Bobby desire prayers for their daughter, um, Corey, who has fallen away and is in a um, same-sex relationship and planning to um, live in union with this other individual and praying that God would intervene, praying for God's intervention, a restoration of faith, um, a wholeness to life, God's best Continued prayers for Andrew, who struggles with addiction, and his um, and his girlfriend. Um, this is coming from uh, a friend who's going to be gathering with other Christian women this weekend and is asking our prayers um, over that. Andrew's girlfriend is going to be one of the people attending the gathering this weekend, and so God, we're praying for this particular this particular opportunity for the inbreaking of Your Holy Spirit for the transformation of life, Holy God. Holy God, for spiritual thirst and for those who are lonely, for those who are deployed and those being deployed overseas, particularly for Brandon in Jordan, healing for Tommy, healing for marriages, healing for relationships, for Chris and Seth. Father, so many requests today. We lift them each and all up before you. In the name of Jesus, amen. Friends, we are, um, we are, we have embarked on our day of prayer here at Faith Radio, and we are inviting you in. You can text your prayer requests and concerns to 877-933-2484. You can also call us, and we will pray with you. Same number, 877-933-2484. Next up, my conversation with Susan Eller um, to help us use some prayer starters. Sometimes we get um, in a place where we don't even know how to pray, and Suzanne is going to help us with that. You're listening to Mornings with Carmen. Are there times that you wonder, like, I want to pray about this, but I don't, I don't know if I have the words. And, well, this is really too hard to pray about, or this is something I don't, I don't know if I should even be praying about this. When you can't find the right words to pray, it's helpful to have some prayer starters. Suzanne Eller is here with us today. Prayer Starters is the book, Talking with God About Hard Times. Suzanne, welcome to Mornings with Carmen. Hey, and friends call me Susie, so we'll just start right there. All right, let's do that. Well, thank you, Susie, um, for that invitation. I really, uh, I I honor and value um, your willingness to draw near to God and then to teach us how how you're doing that. And so let's talk about the motivation first for prayer starters, talking with God about hard times, because you've written lots of other words on pages. Um, why mm-hmm. this? Why? What was the motivation to offer prayer starters? You know, I remembered back to when I was a young teenager and I looked around and it seemed like everybody else knew how to pray and everybody else understood the Bible. And yet I longed more than anything 
just to talk with God. And I also believed in my heart fully that he wanted to talk back. (laughs) And so I began in my own prayer life years and years and years ago, uh, just going deep into the word and realizing that out of the word of God, there came these little bits and starts of prayer that when I didn't have the words, um, he did. (laughs) And so later I I started teaching that to other women who said the same thing, whether they were mature Christians or or not. I, I don't know what to say. And then eventually, one day, this just became a book. And and I didn't want to teach about prayer. There's a lot of great books out there that teach about prayer. I wanted us to have the opportunity to connect with God through prayer right where we were, whether that was in a hospital room, whether that was laying on the carpet with tears, or just simply sitting on your couch in the morning. So I want to share um, one of the prayer starters with you as you're listening on this Faith Radio Day of Prayer. And let me remind you, um, we have a call center. It's open today. We would invite you um, to give us a call so that we can pray with you directly, 877-933-2484. The text line is also open at that same number, 877-933-2484. On on page 40 of Prayer Starters, we have this passage of Scripture from Romans chapter 8, verse 26. And the Holy Spirit helps us in our weakness. For example, we don't know what God wants us to pray for, but the Holy Spirit prays for us with groanings that cannot be expressed in words. And so then Susie writes this, God, sometimes when I show up to talk to you, I don't know how to describe the burden I'm carrying. I can tell you it's heavy. I can tell you that It goes to bed at night with me, and it's waiting when I wake up. Lord, you have promised a helper. That helper is the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, you know the Father's heart and thoughts toward me. You understand the root of this burden I carry. You live inside me and are with me when I go to bed at night and wake up in the morning. Even when I don't have the words to describe my struggle, you will show me how to put it down or how to work through it with your help. And I am grateful for that. Thank you for living inside me. Susie, let's um, let's have a conversation about one of the things that you often hear um, from other women and obviously have experienced yourself. Sometimes we don't have words. We don't. And, And there's seasons, especially, where we long to talk to God with all of our heart that life feels messy or we feel messy or the burden is so big, we can't see around it to even come up with words. And I think that this scripture more than any takes the pressure off (laughs) because whether you have words or not, he already knows what you long to say. And for me, that means that really all I have to do is show up. And as I talk to women just across the nation, they can be so deeply mature in their faith, but still say, Susie, I feel like the wind has been knocked out of me. Mm -hmm. And I go to talk to God and I don't even know what to say. And what I share with them is that, listen, when we show up with our raw and our messy and our uh, words that we can't put into existence, He still knows. And there's power in that. There's power in showing up because he meets us there. There's power in showing up. Um, God is right there. He wants to meet you right now. Um, Jesus Christ opens that way. And so could you turn to him with a believing heart right now? Maybe Maybe that's all you have, the hope of a believing heart. Um, We're talking with Susie Eller on this day of prayer here at Faith Radio, encouraging you to share your your prayer concerns, your prayer requests, your prayer time with us today. You can do that um, via the text line. It's also today a call-in line, 877-933-2484. More prayer starters with Susie Eller in just a moment. You're listening to Mornings with Carmen. I'm Carmen LeBurge, host of Mornings with Carmen. 
Let us pray. Let us pray for each other today. Let us pray with each other today. Let us pray in the Spirit and in the name of Jesus. Let us pray God's will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And as we pray, let's recognize that God hears every prayer. Breathless prayers, heartfelt prayers, prayers that come in size too deep for words. God hears them each and God hears them all. My friend, let us pray. Connecting Faith to Life, Faith Radio. When you, need, um, when you need to pray, when you know that you're supposed to pray, when you want intimacy with God, how do you get there? How do you get from wherever you are in the world and all of its demands and distractions to that secret place, to that quiet place, to that time with God? We're talking with Susie Eller. The book is Prayer Starters, Talking with God About Hard Times. Susie, let's, um, let's jump to the, the hard times times conversation. It's one thing to to pray in a hard moment. It's another thing to pray in an extended hard season. How have prayer starters helped you in, you know, in extended hard seasons of life? I actually wrote this in one of the hardest seasons of my life. I was going through breast cancer for the second time uh, during a pandemic. And There were things within my family that were just hard and painful and out of, out of my control, things I didn't ask for, things I didn't see coming. And what I found is that, you know, God's name in itself means refuge. That is one of his descriptions of himself. And what I found during that time was not a place to hide, but a place to be comforted, a place to be refilled a place where I can be honest and say, Lord, I don't even know what to say right now. I'm just, I'm hurting. (laughs) And this is hard. And I know who you are. And it, it, it becomes a place where we're not lost. I love the verse in Jeremiah. And I believe it's 717. I might be inverting those, but I believe it's 717 and 18. And it talks about that tree where the hard winds come and the the heat and the drought. And what I love about that is not just that the tree survived that because its roots were deep into the source, but that tree was fruitful. Like it 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 didn't it didn't just survive and it come out of this you know hard place just this uh, gnarled little twig that was left. No, it came out and it was fruitful. And I see that in my own hard season is that because my roots were deep into the source of life that man, it was a hard season and I didn't want it and I didn't ask for it, but he was present and he was more than enough and he sustained me, but there was also fruit. I mean, this book came out of that season. Susie, it occurs to me that maybe we should just tell people like what a prayer starter is because sure. I know because I because I'm walking with you in this, but it occurs to me that you and I are talking about something that um it's possible there's somebody listening right now and they're like I I need a prayer starter. But I wonder what yeah. that means and, and how do I um, how do I restart or get started or start again? Yeah. So if you were doing this on your own, as you sit down and you're reading the word, uh, I don't know about you, Carmen, but there's times that a scripture, maybe I've read it a hundred times, but it just leaps out. Oh, absolutely. And so yeah. yeah. And Like I said, I know that God wants us to talk to him, but I believe with my whole heart that he wants to talk to us too. And so in those moments, like I'm not trying to read the Bible as a to-do list or a duty, but simply to linger in it with God and to take that deeper. And maybe I take that deeper that day. Maybe I take it deeper for a couple of days and I just sit in it and just say, Lord, what are you trying to say? And you and I talked earlier about the word picture prayer. Mm -hmm. And it is where we're sitting with the story of Peter who had betrayed Jesus three times in in Jesus' most painful hour. And so he runs away weeping. He feels like he's lost everything. And he feels like he's betrayed 
his greatest friend, his savior. And we read this story and see Jesus when Peter sees him cooking fish at the shore and he leaps into the water and runs to Jesus. And as I begin to soak in this story, what is God trying to say? And he shows me a few things. And, and one is he didn't rebuke Peter. He welcomed him around the fire. And not only that, and I'm just going to share this as something that I'd never seen before. Peter betrayed Jesus at a fire and Jesus reinstated and restored him at a fire. And, and I don't think that's an accident. I think that he took his greatest um, humiliation and made it a reconciliation and a redemption around a fire so that his memories of a fire would change forever. And I, I think about that in my own life. Are there times that I feel like I've completely failed God? Or do I have a loved one that I know that has walked away from Jesus, completely betrayed him? And it shows me a prayer that I can cry out to God and say, you're the same today, yesterday, and forever. Lord, restore my heart around that memory of loss or grief or a mistake that I made that costs so much. Would you meet me in that and restore me? Or would you meet my child who's a prodigal and restore my child because this is who you are? And I know you love him even more than me. And, and I know that goes deep, Carmen. It's one of the reasons I wrote the book is somebody might look and say, I don't see that when I get into the word. Well, let us sit together then. Let us sit together in the word and and. You take it from there. Read this prayer starter and let it see, see where the Holy Spirit takes you in a conversation with God. I, I love how you teach us to do that, how you're teaching us to allow God to speak to us through that which he has already spoken. And that is really the yes. essence of, of prayer starters. Um, again, we're talking with Susie Eller. The book is Prayer Starters, Talking with God About Hard Times. Maybe you're going through a hard time right now. Um, we want to be praying with you and for you. It is our day of prayer here at Faith Radio, and we're certainly inviting you to be praying for your brothers and sisters in Christ, be praying for those who are in a far-off land in so many ways, and we want to be praying with you. And so would you share your prayer concerns with us today? You can text us or today give us a call. Uh, we're using the same phone number that we always use, but today, in addition to it being open as a text line, it's also open for your phone calls, 877-933-2484. Um, Susie, it seems as if uh, it would be appropriate to invite you to pray in, in the way that, um, that you are accustomed to praying. Um, with a prayer starter um, or in some way that the Lord has instructed you or spoken to you recently, would you would you pray for um, those listening right now um, and the concerns of their hearts? Yeah, I'd love to. Father, I'm just so thankful for the scripture that I mentioned earlier in Jeremiah. <laughs> Lord, for some that are listening, uh, they feel that heat and they feel that drought. And Lord, it, it's overwhelming. But Lord, I know this because you are you. Um, you are the shelter to which they can run. You are the safe place in which they can find, Father, a place to abide and to seek safety and comfort and strength. And I just pray this morning, Lord, that not only will they come through this trial this hard place, this season, but on the other side, they'll look back and they'll see that because of you, because of who you are and who they are to you, Lord, they will not only come out on the other side, but they will be fruitful in ways they, that will surprise them. And I thank you for that in your amazing, beautiful name. Amen. Amen. Susie, thank you so much. What a what a delight to get to speak with you today as a sister in Christ. Um, and and thank you for prayer starters and teaching us to pray and praying with us. We really appreciate it. Thank you. I love that I get to spend this time with you. Yeah, me too. Me too. 
Do you have a prayer starter, a passage of Scripture, a story in Scripture where God continues to speak to you through that which he has already spoken, a place where you go in your, um, in your quiet time with him, maybe that secret place where you meet the Lord in his word as the word, where the, the word of God becomes living and fresh uh, to you in, in a season. I'd love to hear your testimony, um, your story, your um, prayer starter uh, again, the text line is open, 877-933-2484. This is our day of prayer here at Faith Radio. And so call us with your prayer concerns. Again, same number, 877-933-2484. Carolyn, we're praying with you right now for broken relationships with your three adult children. Um, pray that for marriage restoration, pray for healing Pray for those who are suffering depression and fear. Um, Praying alongside you, not only in your own marriage, that your husband would follow God um, and therefore be able to lead in a godly way, but praying that prayer for others as well. Holy God, help us and hear us as we pray alongside those who are crying out today. Holy God, help us. Praying with this friend who is asking, Father, that you would um, lead the judge and Child Protective Services to allow for the adoption of this one-year-old child. Holy God, intervene. Intervene. You are, you are the God who has adopted us, and so we call out in the spirit of those who have been adopted um, for others to find their way into healthy, whole families and homes. Another friend asking here, Father, that you would work a miracle and heal their marriage even after the divorce papers have been filed. A mom here asking that, Father, you would, um, you would intervene in the life of her child, caught in the lie of being transgender. This mom asking that you would open the eyes of her child's heart and that you would keep her heart soft, not only... Um, to her own, but to others who are confused and, uh, and living, living a lie of any kind. Thank you for, um, for this friend who is lifting up prayers today for Faith Radio and asking that we would keep Chuck in our prayers. Holy God, you know Chuck. Help him to find peace and to sell his home. Prayers for Taryn um, and uh, as a mom and questions related to her health, praying for Chad to find peace in his current position and that he would finish well in school and find fulfilling work, praying for confidence and rest and trust, praying for Todd and Myra, Layla and Tatum, praying today for Nolan and Zeke, Catherine and Joanna, Zach, Rebecca, Carla, praying today for Cindy and Amy and Dan praying for Sally and Jesse, Chuck and Joyce. Father, we're praying for Peng and Melanie, for Richard and Kelly. Praying for Michael today and others who are leading congregations. Father, praying for those who are serving you today and serving others. Holy God, hear our prayers. This is our day of prayer here at Faith Radio, and we are working our way through the prayers that are being lifted up on the text line. There are so many, and so know that we are uh, praying with you and for you by name, specifically for the request that you are texting in. I'm getting to as many of them as I can on air, Um, but please be assured that we are praying for you right now. The Faith Radio team is, um, is on the job, at the task, praying. And the call center is open, as is the text line. The number is the same. You can either text or call 877-933-2484. We thought it would be appropriate if our friend Kathy Branzell from the National Day of Prayer would join us on this day of prayer here at Faith Radio. So um, Kathy will be here next, and we're going to keep praying. You're listening to Mornings with Carmen.
It is our day of prayer here at Faith Radio. Thank you for those of you who are joining us on the text line or by calling 877-933-2484. Our friend Kathy Branzell from the National Day of Prayer Task Force is here with us as well. Good morning, Kathy. Good morning, friend. What a privilege to pray with you guys today. Thanks for the invitation. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much. Um, We have been reading as many of the prayer requests that are coming over the text line as possible. So let me read Mm -hmm. a few of those in a spirit of prayer before you and I get into a conversation. Would that be okay? That's great. Father, we do come before you um, with this friend who is praying um, for healing, uh, healing from fear, praying for heart and mind and body um, as they suffer with Addison's disease. Praying for this one who has put in their uh, resignation at work in order to be a stay-at-home mom. Holy God, uh, praying for all of the uh, anxiety and joy and finances and new life. Um, Prayers for um, all that you know uh, you intend to uh, you intend to give and do by this obedient step. Prayers for Nicholas that um, he would see you and that he would see your hand in his life for healing from a failed relationship and for sincere and holy friends. Uh, Father, this, this one wants a mentor. And so bring someone alongside them to walk with them on their journey of discipleship. Holy God, we pray alongside this friend who is praying for family unity and restoration, freedom from sin and division, a unity of the spirit and a bond of peace in their household. Holy God, grant, grant this prayer. We pray praying with Lydia for her nephew who um, is suffering in the in the wake of a of an of an accident with some acid and a car battery and holy god we are praying uh, alongside Lydia that he would not lose his eyesight that you would bring healing um for the brokenness um uh, in in other parts of his body as well holy god bring restoration and healing and use this use this to glorify yourself and father we do pray with carol Um, She's a gender-confused nephew. She also asks that we would pray with her for the salvation of her children, a brother-in-law who has cancer, a sister-in-law with mental illness, and and Dave's family. Father, you know Dave. Dave um, has passed from this life into the life to come at 59 years of age, and so Carol is praying for Dave's family, and we stand with her in that prayer in the name of Jesus. Friends, this is the day of prayer here at Faith Radio, and so we are inviting you to text and call us with your prayer request, 877-933-2484. Kathy um, Kathy Branzell is here with us from the National Day of Prayer Task Force. Um, Kathy, sometimes we get questions about just like, how does prayer work? Um, Does prayer work? And who is working? Like what? There are skeptics out there who say prayer doesn't work. Could you address that? Um, well, I'll just give you the word of God because my opinions and, um, you know, there's no, my truth, your truth. It's all truth. It's just the word of God is truth. And God tells us, uh, if you'll remember from our theme in, uh, 2023, that the prayers of a righteous person avail much. And again, that word much is the same word that God uses to describe his glory his mercy and our reward in heaven. And so I love, um, I believe it's Ian Bounds, but forgive me if it's someone else, you know, who said, when we work, we work, but when we pray, God works. And so that, you know, kind of answers the question. When we pray, we move the heart and hands of the one true God who created and sustained the universe. And, um, and we come in dependency you know, and just praying through um, my heart, just beating in my chest as you were just praying, uh, all of these that are texting in and calling in are being obedient and dependent children of God. They're saying, Abba, Father, I, I can't fix this, but I trust that you can. Uh, Heavenly Father, I love these people, but you love them even more than I do or could ever understand. Would you please work in their life? God doesn't intrude, but he comes when he's invited. 
And so um, I am so grateful for today and for all the ways every day the Faith Radio um, audiences are, are praying across this nation. Dawn, uh, we're praying with you for your sister-in-law's mother undergoing reconstructive surgery today, um, mm. uh, an operation in a long series of surgeries. Um, Father God, grant your grace. Thank you for preserving her life in the accident last summer and for um, the, the healing hands of each and every person in the room. Um, grant your grace. We're praying alongside Lori. She says, uh, the Lord is my strength. I'm praying for healing from a battle that has been two decades long, chronic fatigue and pain, um, Lyme's disease. And so pray and ask for prayers that God would continue to use me to be a blessing to others, no matter how tired and terrible I feel. Um, Holy God, grant Lori's prayer, we pray. For this one who is praying for hope and healing, for Ben, who's praying for Ashley's heart to be healed and for her to come back um, to a right mind, to her senses, as he says it. Holy God, um, pray for, uh, he prays for your best in his family. And we want to join him in that prayer. Praying here for a granddaughter, Jordan, who is 28 and um, is gender confused and confused in many other ways as well. Father God, grant um, hmm, grant a restoration of, of a right mind and a right spirit and uh, restore hmm, what Jordan has uh, subsequently broke broken along life's path as well. Father, we come alongside this 42-year-old father who's got two girls and um, multiple disc issues in his back and as degenerative disc disorder and spinal stenosis, holy God, he's praying for strength and faith and healing um, that you would stand beside him as he raises his girls. Holy God, grant your grace in his life, we pray. This is the day of prayer here at Faith Radio, and we're inviting you in. Thank you for those of you who are texting in your prayer concerns. Those are the ones that I'm reading on air. I recognize I cannot get to all of them, um, but we'll get to as many as we can. You can also call Uh, There are friends, uh, Faith Radio family members and friends in the call center right now ready to pray with you. That number is the same as the text line, 877-933-2484. Our friend Kathy Brenzel is here with us from the National Day of Prayer Task Force, and we're going to continue our conversation and our prayers in just a moment. You're listening to Mornings with Carmen. If you're a new listener, we want to officially welcome you with a free welcome pack gift. Request yours today at MyFaithRadio.com. Continuing our time together on this day of prayer here at Faith Radio, I'm Carmen LeBurge. You're listening to Mornings with Carmen here with our friend Kathy Branzell from the National Day of Prayer Task Force. Keep your prayer request coming on the text line, um, or you can give us a call. We have uh, friends of Faith Radio and members of the Faith Radio family in the call center right now, 877 933 Eight, four. You can text us all day. The call center is going to be open during our live shows. So now during Mornings with Carmen, also later today during uh, Susie Larson Live and Afternoons with Bill Arnold. But the text line is always open, as uh, is MyFaithRadio.com, where we are receiving your prayer request on this day of prayer as well. Um, Kathy, let's address the issue of our sense of, quote unquote, unanswered prayers or when God answers prayers, but not in ways that we understand or appreciate. Absolutely. <laughs> we we all uh, could write books about that, right? And so um, we have to remember that God answering my prayers my way doesn't make him God. He is God. It's my accepting um, that and, and worshiping a God who is worthy to be worshiped because I don't tell him what to do. I trust in what he does. Even when it's beyond my understandings, uh, scripture talks about that, that when we, when we trust in him, that uh, we're, we have peace that exceeds understanding. And, and that's true of people looking at us and going, how can they be so peaceful when everything's so chaotic or also Lord, 
Um, my peace comes from being your child and trusting you, not from you doing what I've asked you to do. Now, there's so many times that the desires of our heart aligns exactly with the will of God. And, um, and we see those answers. You all have prayed us through those answers. I'm living an answered prayer right now, as we found out last Friday, that my husband is cancer free. You all just oh, prayed him the last several months, prayed him through this cancer surgery. We found out Friday, no chemo, no radiation, no cancer. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. But you all also prayed me um, last year through a very difficult time when my mother was suffering um, greatly and, and, um, and God took her home to heaven. Now, would I have rather my mom been at my daughter's wedding um, in December? Um, the, the selfish part of me, yes. But I want to make sure that throughout life, um, I pray more people into heaven than out of heaven, right? That I am busy sharing about his word and his glory and his greatness and his worthiness um, and, and just reminding myself daily that he's God and he loves me more than I will ever understand this side of heaven and may not even be able to contain it in heaven. And, um, and that's what faith is all about, that we walk by faith and not by sight. And, and uh, in this broken world, Jesus told us, you're going to have trouble. Uh, as a matter of fact, he told us, don't worry about tomorrow because today's got enough trouble of its own. Christianity began with a catastrophic event um, the cruelest of crucifixions happening to a perfect, perfect, guiltless, sinless man and savior. And so we do go through times of trials that are supposed to grow our faith and grow our dependency in God, not destroy it. And, um, and so we just sit on the promises that he has given us and we praise him because of who he is, not what he does. That's so good. Um, I appreciate the way that you guys are uh, jumping in on the text line and offering your prayers for one another and offering up your prayer requests. Appreciate this from, um, from David in Ellington, Connecticut, uh, who has offered some prayer requests, but then he came, he circled back around and he said, I want to share um, this prayer from some devotional time last week centered in Genesis 22. Uh, you are the Lord, my provider. You freely provide. You freely provide hope for the hopeless. You freely provide love for the unloved. You freely provide life for the dead in sin. You freely provide wisdom for those who ask for it a way out for those who are tempted, a way forward for those who seek you, a hand up for those who have fallen. Jesus, the light of the world to bring people out of darkness, the water of life for those who are spiritually dry, the bread of life for those who are spiritually hungry. You comfort those who mourn, healing for those who are broken and sick, faithfulness for those who have been betrayed, forgiveness for all who have faith in Jesus, peace within for those who trust you, and so much more. I cannot even count the ways that God provides. Um, that's that Jehovah Jireh, um, God is my provider reality. And so thank you for the ways in which you are sharing your prayers on the text line. Thank you for the ways you're sharing your prayer requests. Thank you for the ways you're actively engaged in praying with us on this day of prayer at Faith Radio. Kathy, we have a friend who's lifted up a, a prayer on the text line that um, resonates with what you said about you know, your own mom. And this friend is saying, please pray, please pray for the conversion of my father before it's too late. Yes. So this is in the spirit of praying people into heaven. Could you, there's so many prayer requests coming in for prodigals, um, mm -hmm. prodigal parents, prodigal friends, yeah. prodigal uh, children, prodigal grandchildren. Could you lift up a prayer for this one who is, is praying now for the conversion of their dad before it's too late? Absolutely. Um, Lord Jesus, you desire all to come to repentance, that none would perish. Lord, we don't uh, even often understand that you don't delight in the death of the wicked. And so, Lord, we do come before you for every human being created in the image of God. 
with holy, heavenly, eternal purpose, and Lord, specifically for this father whom their child loves so much that does not want to see them perish. And Lord, that you love, again, even more than we can comprehend, but you invite us to try. Lord, I pray that you would speak to him, that your presence would be undeniable to him, that you would put it upon his heart and that he would experience you in a way that is undeniable, that he would know he needs to cry out, that there would be a revelation in him that he is a sinner in need of a savior. And Lord, that uh, no lie of the devil would hold him back, Lord, that he would not be held captive in this it's too late mentality, or you don't know how or the horrible things I've done, or the, the man that I am. Lord, you know every hair on his head, every thought that has passed through his mind, every deed he has done. And so I ask now, Lord, that you would put upon him how much you love him and that you would draw him near to you, that uh, he would not be able to come out from under the pleas um, of his own child yes. to know you. Lord, we ask that you make yourself known to him, that he would be saved. In the precious name of Jesus, we pray together in agreement. Amen. 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 Thank you, sister. Um, all right, friends, the, the day of prayer here at Faith Radio is going to go on all day, but obviously our live on air time together is quickly coming to a close. So I want you to text, continue texting your prayer requests um, to 877-933-2484. We are going to be tending to those prayers all day and in the days to come as well. The call center is going to be open during our live shows. So obviously during Mornings with Carmen, but also later today during Susie Larson Live and Afternoons with Bill Arnold. So if you didn't have the opportunity this morning and you want to talk with someone and have them pray with you and hear their hear them pray with you and for you, we want you to avail yourself uh, of that opportunity today during our day of prayer here at Faith Radio. So all day via the text line, 877-933-2484. During our live shows, you can call as well. You can always share your prayer concerns with us online at myfaithradio.com. Dot com. Bless you, and I'll be praying for you today. Thanks for listening to Mornings with Carmen LeBurge. Podcasts like this are available because of your support. If it's important to you to hear things that encourage your faith, click the link in the show notes to give now. And thanks.